Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Transformer Studio Series 86-14 Junk Heap, a retooling of a wreck car. We're going to hold and put it off the side real quick so we can take a look at this box, which yes, once again, is a Studio Series box. So you got Junk Heap there, and also this is all creased thanks to um, chipping. But yeah, um, got a nice picture of Junk Heap. We have a mad Transformers and Generations, and of course Transformers, the movie logo, and Takara Tomy. You got Transformers, the movie up here. You got, again, the artwork close up there, and Voyager class. You got the artwork again there, and the 86 right there, and the authentic, and you got the uh, warnings and copyrights on there on the bottom. You got more warnings back here, including, hey, look, also product shots and big screens. Part of and Junk Eon Dance Party, the scene they're talking about. And of course, comes with the backdrop, and Junk Eon, Junk Heap leads the effort to piece together the remains of Ultra Magnus. Yes, because you got blown up. Those are the instructions, which are pretty helpful, but you know, if you already have Rec Guard, you pretty much know what to do. There's only some minor changes. Yeah. Junk Heap. He is a, a junkie on, as you know, probably you've figured out by now. And yeah, he is a pretty straightforward retooling of um Rec Guard. Most of the most obvious differences being, of course, these uh little arm shields things, his chest is different and his head is different. Other than that, he's largely the same. I mean, but yeah, you can see there the colors. He pretty much comes with the, you know, the same color scheme that all of them do, the browns, yellows, and uh, reds, maybe a bit of orange sometimes. But you can see that he's got his head with some shades and whatnot. He's got his motorcycle front end helmet, including some handlebars, rubbery plastic there. you got these little red spikes there. you got, you know, some little bars, a red spot, you know, the red, gray, brown, gray, some yellow there on the forearms. And again, those are gray with some a red striping and all that stuff. And you got the little, like a saddlebags and all that stuff. And on the back, well, not much different. You got the Hamashi stage port right there. And you got the gray here with a little gas cap and the head and wires and all that stuff. It also comes with a weapon, you know, a little spinning thing, which is supposed to peg in his hand, although this is a little tight on this one. So he holds it very securely at least, but it can be a bit of a pain to get in there. And of course, the spins. It spins real nice too. It's quite a while. Yeah, so he looks really good. And um, he does, you know, he's a bit different in some ways. I think some of the tolerance is a little bit different. He still has the same problem of the, this part can come loose pretty easily. You can see it's a little wobbly there on the ab crunch. Uh, the other thing I would say is also, maybe it's just me, but the hips, the ratchets in the hips, there's like these weird soft ratchets in there that feel a little different. Because like, it feels like I can't get, uh, this is the best I can do for a wide-legged stance, which looks a little too wide-legged for me personally. I mean, it kind of works, but it just feels a little too much, in a sense. I don't know. But it's also because of the uh, arm guard, you kind of have to detach the wheels down here and the uh, legs, which is not a big deal. It's just, you know, there's multiple attachment points, but still, you know, that's the case there. But he also comes, of course, with the uh, display stand, which, yeah, the Junkyun Dance Party, you can go ahead and put them there on this thing. you got the 86... 14 all that stuff all this one background hey look you got the uh junkie on ship yeah that's a it's a backdrop if you want to use those i don't yeah articulation though his head got a ball joint so left and right up and down tiny bit of waggle not a whole lot though thanks to i guess head shape or something yeah that's the thing. Shoulders can go all the way around, 360. You got outward right there, and it reveals a nice bit of detailing right there. Go very far up, too. Uh, you got a bicep swivel. Got weird pseudo-ratcheted uh, elbows for 90 degrees. The wrist can swivel, which is nice. The uh, waist can swivel, and of course, again, thanks to transformation, you do have an ab crunch, which is really nice. Hips can go forward about that far, although the wheels can get in the way a bit. If you want full, you gotta do that. Go back that far, they go outward. Again, soft ratchet, go outward more than all the way. You got a thigh swivel there. Knees can go almost 90 degrees back and also can go that far forward. Actually, that far forward, pretty much almost 90 degrees forward, but you know, that looks weird. And the feet can go forward and back. And they can do the weird tilt, which is a partial foot tilt. Yeah, that's the thing. And again, the wheels can go on a little spikes here and peg in, although not amazingly well I've noticed. And on this one anyway. The thing. Also, this handlebar was bent out of the box, but it seems to have gotten a little bit better, but not a whole lot. You need to bend it back. Because it is just a rubbery plastic, so it'd be easy to, you know, bend it back into shape. You just get you standing. Anyway, comparisons. 
Here he is with uh, Rekgar. Again, you can see different colors and some different molding, but largely, like, yeah, as, as that's other thing, forearms are slightly molded and different. I'm just realizing that right now. But, you know, generally the same shape, just slight different molding. But, yeah, you can see pretty much the same mold, mostly the same mold. Of course, there's a line by standard. Here he is with uh, Optimus Prime. A bit shorter, but not by much. So anyway, uh, there's a robot mode. Pretty good looking. Um, pretty decent amount of retooling, but still largely the same, including the transformation here. But so, uh, yeah, we got to pull that weapon out of his hand and you know get outside. Pull the wheels off right there. Put those off the side right now. And we'll go ahead and get them transformed. So first thing there is you want to go ahead and take the wrists, their hands, and uh, fold those in to the forearms like that. Get those out of the way. Go ahead and then untab the chest from this and bring this back and bring this out. Fold the uh, little handlebar things into uh, back like that. Go ahead and bring move these out, the shoulders out of the way. Bring this up and out. And make sure to extend this in such a way that you can go ahead and bring this up. Make sure those handlebars get cleared in there and then bring this up and like that. So it looks like that more or less. Yeah, bring it all the way up like that. Go ahead and untab this stuff and bring that, extend that out right there. Bring this in. that and rotate the shoulders like this. So it looks like that. And then of course this will tab in right there in the forearm. Again, most of this is the same as Rekgar. There's only like literally one, no, those two steps. One was that course those handlebar uh, head things. Of course, bring this, yeah, rotate this up, bring this in, rotate the at the bicep and tab the chest into the bicep like so. And then of course, at this point, you want to put, remember the wider of the two wheels goes in front. So make sure you get the wide one and then uh, put it between the arms here like that. Otherwise it's going to fit weird. And make sure that's all straightened out. Then here at the feet, go ahead and tilt the feet down like that. And then rotate this forward, little clicks into place, click into place, oh, you know, get the little wheel in between like that, peg it in between the knees. Then bring this forward, and then these little tabs right here will go into those slots on the feet. Like so. And then the final bit, what you want to do is go ahead and rotate this around, and this is where it's nice that the rubber handles there. Rotate this around right here. Make sure the arms are more or less straightened out. And then this right here, there's a tab right here on the foot, which is it goes into this slot right there. Make sure that's all lined up and tabbed in. Like so. Like that. Do the same thing on this side. Rotate this around, and this one can clear the handlebar, no problem. And then tab that in. Like if it wants to. There we go. Tab that in right there, and then adjust the handlebars as needed. And of course, if you want to make sure to, of course, you came untabbed. Why'd you come untabbed? That before. There, there you go. And of course, if you want to, you know, keep it standing, you want to go ahead and. Lower those down, those kickstands, and there you go. There's a uh, junk heap in vehicle mode. And yeah, you can of course take the weapon here, and you know, there's this little peg here which can go into the Tomashi stage port if you want, and you know, be a little silly pinwheel thing. Yeah, it's a pretty good look, neat little motorcycle, you know, it doesn't have a uh, little guns right there in the front or anything, but hey, it's pretty neat looking. Some different coloring from Rekgar. He's got these nice little uh, side skirt things. Which normally tab in better than this. I'm surprised with this being like this. It's being a poop. He normally tabs in better. There we go. Might come undone a bit there. There we go. That's better. Now these are the nice little side skirt things they actually kind of make make give it a more cohesive look. I feel like these little side skirt things, yeah, they kind of make it feel a little more cohesive. Weirdly enough, you can kind of see some engine detailing there. You got the seat right here in red. 
whatnot. Um, you got the spikes and everything. The wheel spikes, unfortunately, make it so on a surface like this, it doesn't want to roll. You need a softer surface. Yeah, it's, it's unfortunate, yeah, but you need kind of a softer surface because it doesn't won't. They, it, they do spin, as you can see. But yeah, because of the spikes, they don't want to spin. So that's an unfortunate thing. That's unfortunate, but uh, it's just kind of a nature of the surface and everything and the detailing. But otherwise, it's actually really nice. Uh, th a motor look, motorcycle, like, oh, there's a bit of a gap here, but that's not the end of the world for me personally. Now, once again, that's just unpeg on super well either. So that's a bit unfortunate. Oh, you guys, I forgot there's a Tomashi stage port right here too, which is useful for, I guess, uh, robot mode. Yeah, largely, it's still pretty darn good. Overall, uh, and of course, the big question is, can another junkie on like Retgar ride him, ride him? Um, kind of. Um, it's a little weird looking, and you have to do some finagling, and you have to also BS it a bit. I also recommend taking uh, any accessories that can be removed off Retgar. Just makes it easier to like take the wheels off Retgar, and then you can do it. Heck, there's even this slot here kind of lines up with the slot on here, which makes sense considering you can kind of get it done although it looks like he's riding a mini bike so it's no no uh mass shifting cheating like they do in the cartoon and there is some shenanigans but you can get him yeah you can't they can't yes the junkions can more or less ride each other and i did test yes Junk Heap can ride Retgar more or less, but it is kind of a, as you can see, a bit, a bit weird looking. It does, the motorcycle does look a little small, but it does work. So that's just a thing. Just FYI on that came undone. So you can see it does work. It just size a little iffy because probably because, well, they don't, you know, cheat with the mass shifting or anything. So it does work. And as a real quick point of comparison, here he is with uh, Rek Gar in his motorcycle mode. Right up the stands now. And you can see, yeah, pretty similar, some molding differences. Like, uh, again, the shoulders come through. Of course, there's an obvious sir, it's a good thing. This right here, there's actually some differences on the uh, this part, the nose, the uh, fuel tank, some differences, but I think beyond that, they're largely the same overall, just different colors. So, yep, there's the thing. There you go. So, yeah, junk heap here. Um, really nice, honestly. Um, largely, largely, pretty much all the same positives as Retgar. Most of the, some, unfortunately, some of the same negatives, including the ab joint, the um, ab crunch joint doesn't really like to tab in fully for the robot mode, and some. I guess clearance issues for the transformation. Transformation is mostly the same. Yeah, pretty much the same. Just some clearance issues, just like before. Namely, like the shoulders can be a little bit weird. But yeah, it's pretty much the same figure. Just some slight molding. Uh, so all the same po negatives and positives there. Uh, if you liked Rec Guard, you might like this. But again, um, if you only want one, honestly, I think Junk Heap's a bit better looking. Personally, I know Rec Car is the more well known, but Junk Heap, I think, particularly the motorcycles, more well known looking. So, uh, I'm personally, I'm going to buy, I'm going to have to do Rec Car riding Junk Heap on the display. And that's kind of how I'm going to have them displayed. But, you know, whatever you do, you. Um, if you're just someone who just really hates having remolds, then yeah, yeah, I think this is worth uh, picking up for any sort of, uh, I guess, movie display. So, or animated movie display. So, yeah, um, I like it well enough. In a little uh, thirty-three dollars right now, so yeah, he, he's fine. But yeah, not, not, you won't really have any big surprises if you're you're familiar with the rec car mold. So there, there you go. Um, I think he's worth picking up. But uh, that's it for this one. Uh, I hope you found it informative, and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. But check out my Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Brown One. Check out my coffee, my Patreon, and I'll see you next time with another video review.